Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, five movie titles that I think would be absolutely perfect for the HMV Premium Collection label uh, on Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, what sort of really wanted, uh, what sort of really sort of made me want to make this video um, was uh, one of my favourite movies um, got recently uh, re-released on Blu-ray for the first time in the Premium Collection label. Um, so yeah, that movie is Running On Empty, uh, directed by Sidney Lumet. Um, I had this movie on DVD for, for a number of years and to see it get the Blu-ray treatment finally was just a, a treat. And yeah, I just really enjoy what the Premium Collection are putting out. I don't collect all uh, the Premium Collection movies, um, but some of the movies that I am interested in I do pick up on the label. Um, only really because you can't really get other Blu-rays, uh, other sort of, you know, other sort of additions for certain movies. Um, but yeah, this was this was truly a treat. So it sort of got me thinking about five movies that I'd like to see from this label um, and get the Blu-ray treatment. So um, yeah, that being said, the five movies I've chosen are all Warner Brothers movies. Um, as I noticed the, the, the premium collection, the majority of movies on there do tend to be Warner Brothers movies and I know there's a few Sony titles in there as well. Um, but yeah, I've gone for five movies from Warner Brothers that at the time of this recording, um, these five movies are not on the premium label. Um, I know th these movies may have a Blu-ray release but they certainly don't have a UK Blu-ray release. Um, I, I don't even think some of these movies have a UK DVD release. Um, but yeah, that being said, I'm going to get straight in with my first pick. Uh, and that movie is Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. Um, so yeah, this is a, a great looking movie, shall I say. It's not one of my personal favourite movies, but I really, really do appreciate this movie for what it has to offer. Um, it's visually, it's absolutely stunning. I think some of the effects in this movie for the time it was made really do stand out and really do, I don't want to say hold up, um, but for the time, very, very impressive. Um, but yeah, I just think this is this is, this is is a really, really uh, good movie that I do enjoy. As I said, not one of my favourites, but yeah, it's sort of about this carnival that comes to town that sort of takes a psychological dive into the people that come and visit it. Um, a very different and unique movie, um, if I'm completely honest, but I think it would sit right in perfectly with the premium collection um, based on some of the other movies that have got released, some of those older movies. I think this one, I think they're really, really missing a beat with this one. So, yeah, I think it would just sit right in perfectly. So, yeah, that is Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. So, coming up next is a kids movie directed by Alfonso Cuaron. Again from Warner Brothers. Um, I used to watch the trailer for this constantly because it was on a lot of VHS tapes uh, that I had from Warner Brothers like Ace Ventura, Batman Forever. Uh, and that is um, A Little Princess. Um, so yeah, I think this movie is, is absolutely great. I think it's so underrated. Um, it's a fantastic kids movie. And I was really surprised to find out that it was directed by Alfonso Cuaron because I think everything he touches is gold in my opinion and this movie is no exception um, it's absolutely fantastic again it never really gets talked about um, it's based on a book by the author who wrote the secret garden as well uh, and if I'm honest I prefer this massively over the secret garden um, I just think it is a great film that just never ever gets talked about and again with it being Warner Brothers I think it would sit right in perfectly with the premium collection if they were to put a release out of this movie um, so yeah that is my second pick a little princess. So coming up next is a movie by Martin Scorsese. Um, he's a director I absolutely love. Um, so I think some of his movies just never really get talked about enough, like The Age of Innocence, Silence, uh, and this one which came out in 1985. And that is After Hours. Um, yeah, this is a great movie. I just absolutely love it. Hated it the first time I saw it, if I'm completely honest. Didn't get it. Went completely over my head. Gave it a rewatch, and I appreciated it on a whole different level. Um, you just follow this main character who just you absolutely feel his frustrations as he just wants to get home, and things just start getting in the way. Um, but yeah, it never it never gets talked about this movie, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, this is one of the movies as well that I think doesn't even have a UK Blu-ray release. Um, 
I know you have to fork out a pretty penny to even just get the, the Region 1 DVD for this movie, but yeah, I think, you know, the way the HMV line is picking up these movies um, that are a bit unknown, a bit older, I think this one, again, would just be absolutely perfect for the line and um, just bring a whole new audience and new love to this movie. Um, so yeah, if anyone's watching from a, from HMV um, and make those and makes those decisions about what films make the line, don't give a second thought to After Hours. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, just absolutely love it. So yeah, that is After Hours. So coming up next, so my fourth choice is. Uh, another movie, this is a movie I, I, I really do like. It's not the best movie ever, but I really, really do enjoy it. Um, and that is uh, Pacific Heights with Michael Keaton. Um, this is a great early 90s movie. Um, I think this sort of came out right after uh, Batman. Uh, I think it was, this movie was between Batman and Batman Returns for Keaton. And it was just great to see him sink his teeth into a villainous role. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, this movie will make you think twice about becoming a landlord, in my opinion. Um, it really does showcase the horrors um, to how evil some tenants can be. And it's just truly frightening. Um, and yeah, again, another underrated movie that I think doesn't really get talked about. He gives an absolutely stellar performance in this movie. Again, I don't even think there's a UK DVD release of this movie. Um, and I just think it's absolutely suited to the premium line and I would love to see it come out on Blu-ray because uh, I think the movie deserves it. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that is my fourth pick, Pacific Heights. So lastly, I'm going to go with another movie with Michael Keaton and another movie again from Warner Brothers. Um, and this one probably gets talked about even less than Pacific Heights uh, and that is Clean and Sober. Um, so yeah, this movie for me is the is 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 the movie that got Michael Keaton the role of Batman. Um, this movie went so under the radar, I believe, when it came out, uh, which is just absolutely criminal. Because I know at the time, a lot of people were like, Michael Keaton's a comedic actor; he wouldn't really suit the role of Batman. There was a lot of uproar over it, and those people clearly didn't see this movie because this movie truly displays his range as an actor. Um, this is a, a, a another movie that pretty much just added a string to his bow for me, and you know it, it was it was great to see a performance by an actor that I already love. Um, you know he couldn't really win me over anymore, and he did he did it with this movie. Um, so if you've not seen this movie, check it out. And I again, it's a movie that needs a Blu-ray, and I would love to see it on the premium line. Um, you know because I I do like the premium line. The premium line from HMV, where it gets the art cards, comes in a nice box. Um, yeah, I would just love to see this movie get that treatment. Um, so, yeah, can't really say much more on it than that. So, yeah, those are my five choices um, that I would love to see on the HMV premium line. Um, so, yeah, let me know some of your choices down below. Uh, do you agree or disagree with some of my choices? Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, guys, and say thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.